Hi, thanks for joining us again. Today I want to show you a quick recipe which is great for meal prep. Now you all know how dear to my heart meal prep is. So this recipe is perfect for preparing, um, having as a snack or adding it with salad or you know vegetables and having it there for um, a meal or a snack, whatever you want to do. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make it. Now this is perfect for uh, gluten free uh, people or gluten intolerant people because there is no gluten in this at all. Just beautiful quality whole, whole foods. Okay, I'll show you how to make it. So I'll show you uh, basically what we have here is beautiful prosciutto. Now this is an absolutely divine meat. It can be a little bit expensive, but it's because it's prime quality, I guess. Now, if you aren't into the fatty bits at the side, you can chop those off, uh, whatever suits you. I like to leave them on because it actually helps me, um, it helps cook and get the flavor into the dish. You can always pull it off at the end if that's what you're after. Um, so basically, I've got four slices of the prosciutto along there just to line the bottom of the dish and what I'm using today is just one of these small slice trays which I find is a bit easier than the round quiche dish okay so we're gonna add into that around three cups of baby spinach make sure you wash it you want to get all these yucky pesticides if there's any on there or any dirt off them. Um, now add to that your olives. I like Kalamata olives. I actually like all olives, so whatever olives suit you. And if you don't want olives, you don't have to have them. This is just something that I really like. It just gives it that Mediterranean feel. Now just sort of move them around the dish so that they're evenly laid out. Right now, as you can see here, I've just cracked in my first egg. So once you've got your baby spinach and olives in there, just crack your eight eggs on the inside of your dish. Evenly spaced so that, you know, it can sort of create a nice slice and you've got a bit of egg in each. There you go. So there's eight now cracked into that dish. So as you can see, as I mentioned, to try to leave them evenly spaced. You don't want them all crowded in the one spot. And the eggs, surprising enough, are very easy to move around if you need to. So if you need to, um, if you don't mind getting hands on with the eggs, doesn't matter if they crack either, to be honest, because they're going to um, cook just how you have them. So lastly, what we're going to do is just add some Parmesan cheese to the top. Now once again, if you're watching your weight, you don't have to add this on there. You can add things like um, fresh low-fat ricotta um, or even cottage cheese if you want to. They do still give the same kind of effect. I just find the parmesan cheese really gives this an extra little bite. So once you've put your parmesan cheese on there, you can just place it in the oven, which has been preheating on 180 and then that should only take about 15 minutes to cook so I'll show you the finished product and then voila so there you go my masterpiece all done <laughs> so as I said before really easy to cook easy to prep so that you've got meals for later and also perfect for when you've got friends and family coming over so that's it for me today if you would like the full recipe or more of our recipes, please go to www.thecheekyhomemaker.com.au. Thank you. Bye.